ESBR Boxing. Delighted to be joined by Elliot Gregg, and we are in final prediction mode. We didn't actually do a preview for this, Elliot, did we? Subriel Matthias, Liam Paro, fracking fight for the IBF World Super Lightweight title, currently held by Subriel Matthias in his home country of Puerto Rico um, this weekend. First and foremost, mate, thanks very much for joining me. And guys, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe, like this video, share with your friends, drop us a comment, all of that. Um, it really, it just, it really helps us. And yeah, we'll, we'll maybe interact with you as well in the comments. So please make sure you do that. But it's time to, the time has come, Elliot. I'm going to ask you straight away, like we always like to do now, no beating around the bush. What is your final prediction for Subriel Matthias versus Liam Paro? Thank you very much, Paul, for that eloquent introduction. You know what? This is a tough one, me. You know, we did the preview. I'm going to anything to lean back on it. We didn't do the preview, sorry. So I'm going to anything to lean on. But, oh, it's a tough one, Paul. It's a tough one. I mean, we've talked, haven't we, before about the the sort of state of the division and, you know, where we see sort of Matthias fitting in around that super light. And we've had him um, as kind of, not as much as unknown quantity, but kind of it, it, hard to place him against those other guys we were talking about when we did the division previously. I was, I'm finding that that sort of same challenge here. I mean, I'm still, look, first of all, my final predictions, I'm not going to sit on the fence. I'm going to go, I think Matthias will win this. I do, to be honest with you. Do I see a KO? I mean, look, there's a guy, this guy who's obviously, you know, what is it, 20 KOs and, you know, 20 victories. So it'd be bold to not back the KO. But equally, I look at power and I think some good performances in there. The Montana Love last time out was a good win. Um, do I see him potentially go in the distance? Southpaw as well. I actually maybe see him going. I actually maybe see this being a points win by Matthias. Or I think that might be the first first victory on his record that doesn't go by KO. So I'm actually going to go Matthias points. How about yourself? Very interesting, mate. Very very interesting. And um, just before I give my final prediction as well, I think without wanting this to turn into the betting show that we sometimes do for um, some super fights, I looked at the odds after I'd kind of made my mind up. I was like, I'll look at the odds just to see whether I'm way off or roughly it's thinking the same way as the bookies. They have Matthias as a one to six favourite, Paro four to one just to win. And what you've just said there, Matthias points, that's six to one. He's one to three to win via stoppage. So very, very interesting. And do you know what, mate? We I, I'm kind of glad we haven't done a preview on this fight because we've got a disagreement. I, I'm I'm going for it. I'm putting my balls on the line here. I, I'm saying you Liam, Paul. Paro, Liam Paro. I'm I'm going to back Liam Paro to win this and become the new um, IBF World Super Lightweight Champion. I've been high on Super Real Matthias, but it's hard not to be when someone has stopped every single opponent he's been in with. The only defeat on his resume, of course, avenged via knockout a couple of fights later. Frightening puncher. You know, people actually kind of have him. A, he, could have, he could perhaps be the best 140 pounder in the world. But I see a man in Liam Paro, and I think you're a, you're a really solid fighter. He's he's a sneaky puncher as well. Obviously, mm -hmm. all of the all of the hype will be around Matthias's punch power, but Paro's a big puncher as well. Fifteen and his twenty four victories. I'm getting excited, Paul, because I'm waiting. I know people are going to be watching this video now, and they're going to be saying, "Is Kelly going with Paro KO, or is Kelly going to go points?" Kelly, where are you going, man? Let's, tell me, Paul. I'm, I'm actually on, I'm on tender hooks here, man. I don't even know where you're going with this. I don't know. I don't know whether I'm, I'll be disappointing you or or what, but. I'm going for Liam Paro to win this on points. And so neither of us are going for a knockout, which is really surprising given that the combined of what 35 KOs. So uh mm. very odd. But yeah, I look at he did KO um obviously said Montana Love last time out. I think the Southpaw stance could be provide um Matthias with quite a few issues. Um I'll be interested to see how he overcomes the Southpaw stance and a very good Southpaw at that. I think that, you know. He's, he's, he's four years younger than Matthias as well. I think he's a fresher fighter. And I don't know whether it's just unpopular, but again, looking at, without wanting it to become a betting show, looking at the boogies, they think if Paro is going to win, it's more likely to be knockout, which was 13 to 2, I was saying. Paro decision. So what I'm going for is 14 to 1. And there's value decision, in either one of us here, Paul. There is value in either one of us here. Yeah, We're not on the betting yeah. show, but were we? There is money to be made. 100%. 100%. Honestly, 6 to 1 and 14 to 1. Some mad odds, uh, some mad odds there. Do you think, well, kind of, may as well, it's it's odd, isn't it, I suppose? We've both gone here, um, Elliot, for, for points, victories, either way. But equally, do you say it with a huge deal of confidence? Or are you kind of like, is it one of them where 
say Matthias or Paro win by a knockout, you're like, well, of course they won by knockout. Look at their look at their <laughs> record. How, how's your where's your mind at there? Obviously, we've both gone for the the points, but equally, you know, before, do you see um, it? Yeah, before before your eloquent uh, and articulate reasoning towards a Paro victory, I was thinking maybe Paro points or Matthias points slash KO. But now you mention it, I think you know, like you say, it's in Puerto Rico as well. Will Paro come there knowing, you know, essentially favouring the knockout? Matthias, from what I've seen, good boxer, but is also not elusive enough in the sense that I think he couldn't get hit, couldn't get hurt. I can foresee that happening, to be perfectly honest with you. So I could see Paro potentially catching him. I think if he goes for it as well, considering, you know, he'll be away, essentially, you think maybe you'd have to win maybe eight of those rounds fairly convincingly to maybe get a decision. Would he go for the knockout? Matthias, equally, like, if I sit here and Matthias has stopped Paro, I wouldn't be too surprised, obviously, given his KO power. But I also feel like, for me, the reason I've gone Matthias points, A, is the location as well. But B, it's mostly because I think Paro's got enough, is a good enough fighter to see the, um, to see the, but I think he's got enough to kind of, uh, to hold off Matthias in that way. I don't think he's necessarily going to be caught, caught in that way. So that's why I'm going with it. But equally, like you say, if, if, if it was to be a stoppage either way, I wouldn't be surprised, Paul. But I am actually going to leave this call now. And I'm going to head over to Sky, about other betting places are available. And I'm going to find myself some odds. And I'm going to back... This going 12 rounds, Paul. That's what I'm going to do. So you may see me next week when me and you do the preview show of other fights, either a broken man or a man wearing possibly a gold medallion. I might look like Devin Haney next week. Man, honestly, there's that. Yeah, that's another one. Good one as well. Yeah, maybe not a bad shot going on back in this fight just to go the full 36 minutes, I just said. Not picking a winner. That's a good potential money maker for, for us there as well and anyone watching. But yeah, I think it's kind of, Every time we have a disagreement, whether it be in a preview, final prediction, weigh-in reaction, whatever it is, you know, I always like how you almost kind of like having a disagreement because it's. I think that shows a good fight. Um, mm, you know, like like a f- plenty of the other ones this weekend as well. Like you know, on obviously on British shores we've got um Willem Smith and React Poor. You know, the fact that we've quite a there's quite a few people are going either way people are seeing it as a bit of a 50-50 I think it's testament of a good fight and this is 100% um, 100% the same if you're going off box rec rankings Matthias is number one there and Liam Power is number 10 I believe so you're talking of two top 10 super lightweights probably even higher than top 10 but maybe a little bit harsh on Liam Paro. but um, yeah man, I completely concur with everything you've said there as well you know testament to a good fight and yeah, it's very, very interesting that neither of us are, are back in the stoppage here. If I had to put you on the spot, I know we're both going for points, but if there was was going to be a stoppage, is Paro getting it or is or is Subriel Matthias getting it? You know, what? all common sense would suggest that Matthias would get it, but I've actually got a sneaky feeling that if it was going to be a KO, it will be Paro. I don't know why. Then I think it's, it's probably because you're in my mind, Paul. You're whispering, you know, the, the sort of seductive whisperings in my ear. But I actually got a sneaky sort of gut feeling that actually Liam Paro might might go for it and might actually get a stoppage. Um, whereas Matthias, I just think again, I think Paro is defensively good enough to get to the end, and I also feel like. There's not the same sort of pressure based on location, et cetera, et cetera, that, that Matthias will have compared to Paro. So I think if there's going to be a stoppage, that's the thing against all common sense, possibly, and uh, stats, it'll be, it'll be Liam Paro. Very interesting. And worth noting, just before we, we close off here, Elliot, men have actually been on the floor um, recently as well. Matthias was on the floor against Anayan. Um, the fight he got beat by via decision. He went down in round seven. Um, obviously, he avenged that loss a few fights later via KO. And you look at... Um, you look at Liam Paro as well, and he was actually on the deck against Umar Alamo. Um, went on to win the fight by a split decision. That uh, was that was only in December 2021, but he himself was actually on the deck in round one. So you could maybe say he got caught cold um, very early on. But yeah, both men have have you know had their had the had their arse on the canvas for want of a better phrase. But yeah, both frightening punchers, both world level elite fighters, and yeah. Cracking, cracking fight to get stuck into this weekend, mate. Cannot wait for it. Elliot, thanks very much for joining me as always, mate. Really enjoyed that final prediction video. Guys, let us know your thoughts on the fight. Who's winning this one and how? And as always, as we said at the, at the top, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, comment, and um, let us know how you see this one going. Elliot, thanks very much for joining me. Speak to you again soon. Thank you very much, mate. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.